Am I still part of the genus of Homo erectus since I'm confined to a wheelchair? That's a random joke. Sup, boys and girls? Chuck, ask a capper. Yes, I'm also known as Only Use Me Face because that is how I play. Hope you guys are doing awesome, and I hope this finds you having great games. I got some gameplay for you, some random thoughts, some voicemails, and I'll let you guys know what's going on. I got packs in about four days from the posting of this video. March 11th it starts, and the petition's over 52,000 signatures. So we'll see how that goes. I'm going to be talking to developers, getting their thoughts and their comments. It's just been really cool lately. Um, if you checked out that video I posted with that interview with Splash Damage, they're the developers who are making Brink. That, that is looking really awesome. I mean, they're totally doing full remapping. Um, I have another link to another video I'll put down below. You should check it out because they really go into talking about button binding and what it is. So it's cool. So Splash Damage is all in on custom button remapping, and they have brought it over from the PC and say it's something that just should be standard. So I totally think they're awesome. But I can't wait to talk to him at PAX, and I'll post some videos of our conversations if I get a chance. At least some updates. Do you guys know what's going on? Real quick, this game is on Array, and I camp a lot. I love that people are like, what are those numbers on the side of the gun? <laughs> they watch my videos, they're like, wow, I can actually read those numbers now. I've never seen before. I'm going to try and get some different gameplay of me not using the HK-21. I know you guys have seen that gun a lot. I just totally love it. I love that it doesn't have a super amount of recoil and it kills people fast. I had some M60 gameplay and I like the AUG. I mean, I'm going to try and run and gun too. I'm going to try and get one of those. It's just hard doing the picture in picture ones. I mean, when I do the picture in picture, I'm going to do voicemails too because they're hard to get. I don't get to get a lot of them because I got to get them at night and if I don't have a good game. and <laughs> This shows you how bad I've been doing. Like, this is my best game that I got while I was doing the filming of the picture in picture. So, that, that's all. So yeah, the petition's going good. Thanks everybody for supporting it. Continue to support it. Even after PAX, the petition will be rocking. As I talk to more developers, maybe go to some more game conferences, that will be cool. And I've got some voicemails. My voicemail number is up there. If you want to call in at any point, it's, you know, leave me a message, a question about anything, totally, you can do that. Here's my first one. Hey Chuck, Halo Kitty here from London in the UK. First off, just want to say that you're awesome, loving the gameplay videos. Um, I've heard you say a couple of times that you're an old school gamer before it was cool and before girls started playing. Being an avid girl gamer myself, I've had abuse, random messages, voice messages, just wanted to find out your opinion on girl gamers. Keep up the good work. And that's me. I'm out. Love you, buddy. Bye. Halo Kitty. Thanks for calling in. Totally awesome. I love hearing from my friends across the pond um yeah it's so funny that like you know girl gamers it's such a great thing i'm so glad girls are gaming it's just so great i mean i really literally like growing up when i was gaming girls didn't really game and it was something that you know they just didn't do and so it's great to see girls gaming it's awesome you know that's what all of us gamer nerds want is like a girl who games that would be so awesome but you know i can't believe the flack the chicks get it's like I, the College Humor just had a video, uh, the com kind of a parody of girls, like, getting revenge on a guy. is the way they get talked to. And I couldn't believe that, like, if chicks actually get talked to that way by guys, man, dudes are douches. Seriously. I can't even, I'm just, like, in shock. I mean, that just, I wouldn't even, I don't know why guys do that, but maybe they just haven't ever talked to a girl before, so they're like, I'll just be a disgusting pig. Guys, so if you do that, if you, like, heckle the girl gamers, man, just don't be total douches like that please you know just be cool because it's cool that they're gaming trust me it was way lame when girls weren't gaming it's very cool that they game now and they crush it and they're better than me which is so awesome but yeah so it's cool and i totally dig girl gamers frag dolls rock and that's all i have to say thanks for calling in uh halo kitty for sending me an email attachment like you did appreciate it Hey man, I was wondering, if you get the bomb, I know in World at War it gave you like 1500 or something, in the new Black Ops, do you get the bomb, does it give you points? Okay, thank you. Hey, thanks for calling in. Uh, I know this is a zombie question, I don't usually answer those, 
in this gameplay. I need to get some more zombie footage out there, and I will. Um, but, yeah, the bomb is worth... It used to be World of War was 400 points. Now it's worth 400 points also. But if you get it with it two times on, you get 800 points. But my pro tip with the bomb is do not get it in single player until, like, around 20, around 15 or 20, because you want the points. You need to point farm. And in four player, don't get it until round 10. That's my tip. Hey, man. This is a gamer from Washington. I just wanted to call and let you know. It's really inspirational stuff, man, like, that you had learned to play, you know, with your face. It's just really awesome. I just, and I just went on your uh, your website and saw that you had this voicemail set up. I just wanted to call and let you know that I really like what you're doing. Fully support it. And keep on keeping on, man. Well, thanks, caller from Washington, for calling in. I really appreciate your time. And thanks for the, the shout-out and the encouragement. Always nice to hear. Glad you enjoy it. I enjoy doing it, so that's a mutually beneficial relationship we have. And if anybody else wants to call, you can call my voicemail and just ask me any question you want, like why is the sky blue, or you can ask about me or anything you want, and I will go through them and try and answer them. But thank you. Be awesome. Hey, Chuck. I am calling you from uh, Michigan, and I just wanted to say that you are actually the second uh, quadriplegic gamer that I have encountered. Whackbox, W-A-C-K-B-O-X. Yeah, he's doing kind of the same thing you are, showing people that quads can have fun as well. And uh, I was just wondering, um, have you given any, like, PC games a try? Because that's usually what he's been playing, PC games. Cool. Well, thanks, caller from Michigan, for ringing me up. And, yeah, um, that's cool. Other quadriplegic gamers, yeah, they're out there. We're raging it. So who was that? That was Whackbox, I think he said. Very cool. Yeah, I'll have to check out his channel at some point. And PC gaming. I don't... I do some PC gaming. Like, I I mean, I have uh, Minecraft for Mac, and I have Portal for Mac. And I don't really run a PC since I run a Mac, but I have those. I have been starting to play some Minecraft because everybody's playing it, so you might as well get into it now. Man, it's ridiculously crazy. And good times. And the major, major reason why I don't uh, play on PC is the fact that my family games on PlayStation 3. So my brother and my dad are both, and a bunch of our friends who I knew growing up, all play on PS3, and if I went to PC, I'd lose them. So that's why I focus on consoles, why I play consoles, and why I started this button remapping petition, because it's something that consoles should have. That's why. So I hope you're doing good. Thanks for calling him. Uh, I was just wondering why you use your hands to play Call of Duty like you use your mouth. Also, um, I just didn't really understand why you use your, your mouth and your hands to play. All right, bye. Okay, does anybody else want to help this person out? This person might be trolling a little bit, but it sounded legit. So I'm quadriplegic. I can't move anything from my chest down, and my arms are impaired, so I can't use my hands. So the reason I play with my face is because I can hold the controller in my hands. Well, not really hold it, but put it in my hands and move the sticks with my face. I don't do it just because it's something fun to do. What's up, Chuck? This is Captain. And I want to say, man, you are freaking rocking. Pax, looking forward to you giving that petition to them, and they're going to freaking like it. They are, and we're going to get rocking on this. And you're doing an amazing job at this petition. 50,000 signatures is freaking amazing. I remember when it was like 13,000 signatures. So I just want to say um, congrats, man. You're freaking awesome. And my question to you is, Lately, I've been getting, you know, messages saying, um, why do you always put one-handed in the title or talk about it? Don't you think that's, like, sub -whoring? I want to know what your thoughts are since you're a disabled gamer as well. And, man, thanks, and see you. Cap gun, rocking and rolling, one-handed gamer. <laughs> hey, bro, um, yeah, uh, thanks for the shout-out on the petition. Things are going great, and uh, thanks for being one of those early supporters who really, um, I appreciate that. Look at this frag here. I totally get them. Nice. Gotta love those frags when they work. Um, but Cap Gun definitely is somebody also who, from the beginning, has said this is something that he could even benefit from. Yeah, I put out some videos where he talked about remapping, how important it was. So thanks for that early support, man. You you got were a major supporter of this from the get-go. So very cool. And uh, as along with people, you, you know, trolling on you, yeah, it's, it's kind of like the double-edged sword of being on Machinima, which Cap Gun is. Um, that you get all the people who just want to follow you and give you flack. I don't listen to trolls. I really don't even pay attention to people, like, putting hate on me. You know, for the most part, I mean, I try to, like, just let it slide off. 
and I don't even really pay attention. You can always take the NASA one route, which is always awesome too, of blocking fools. Lovey's like, if you leave a stupid comment, you're getting blocked. <laughs> you say something I don't want to hear, you're getting blocked. And that's something you can do. I mean, that's the way to definitely clean out your troll box of like your subs who are just trolling on you. But, you know, I, mean, I think it's important to say you're a one-handed gamer or quadriplegic gamer or whatever because the question even before yours was somebody saying, why do you play with your face? <laughs> because I just, I like to. It's fun. You know, I just want to chew on my controller for a while. But, so I don't think there's anything wrong with saying that you're the one-handed gamer because you are. Cap gun, man. So, yeah, try not to follow it. <laughs> Listen to what that. Hate is going to hate, bro. Hate is going to hate. But thanks, everybody, for calling in, those who left me messages. And if you want to, please check out the phone number. Give me a ring or attach an MP3 to an email. I'm rocking and rolling. Free-for-all monster contract. I love that one. <laughs> yeah. 15 and 7. Oh, yeah, that's I was raging it. Sandy Ravage style. <laughs> that was such a slow game. I'm sorry, everybody. That's all I had. But, yeah, I plan on getting some zombie gameplay out for you guys. Uh, I want to do some Ascension. Been having some good games. Me and my dad went to level 18. He's 67, and I'm quadriplegic. What a team that is. But we went to 18. It was pretty good times. And I'll try and get some more picture-in-picture, picture and I'll let you guys know what's going on at PAX. I'll be there in four days talking to developers and visit Splash Damage. Um, I have links down below and Firehose Games. Leave them messages letting them know that you, you appreciate doing button remapping because they're, they're the ones who are going to start this ball rolling. And they're doing awesome. And links are down below to things you should just check out if you want to help support the cause. Appreciate you guys. You guys are awesome. I have the best subs on YouTube. And be well, guys. Game on, gamers. Reese's Pieces and your creases. <laughs>